And I just want to say a big thank you to every single one of you in our community. It is certainly growing much stronger. There is so many sky watchers out there now that are looking up to the heavens, taking many photos of the strange colors that are beaming across from what we see of the sun. This simulator, again, dark shadows, many chemtrails hiding the truth. So that's carry on researching and showing the proof of all these excellent images coming through. First, I just want to show this fantastic truther to our new members of our community, Carlos Munoz Ferrada, that was born 1909 to 2001, a Chilean astronomer, first spoke about Planet X in the 1940s. Now, this fantastic man, again, was out searching the heavens, and he was spiritually minded. He was able to see those heavenly bodies and he spoke about it in detail. He knows that this system is coming. So again, it is about speaking out and remembering the past. It is so important of what was researched and what was documented. Now what you see on the screen are two images, two true images of the Planet X system. One to the left was taken from the SPT telescope based down at the South Pole. To the right, this is another genuine photograph that was taken in 2008. See, people have been working so hard and these photos were leaked out, but many channels had problems trying to get the information out. So let me move to show you another truth that we have here on the screen Zachariah Sitchin, an author of many books of the Twelfth Planet. I've read many of these books as well, and this fantastic man knew his research. He also was able to study those Sumerian tablets. So please look into his work, it's very, very important. We have this photograph as well that is Dr. Robert S. Harrington, Chief Astronomer for the U.S. Naval Observatory. Now, this guy as well knew the truth about Nibiru, tracking it. Now, sadly, he took time to go down to the South Pole, but then mysteriously disappeared. And the excuse was, a rapid onset of cancer. So again, it is a situation where things have been hidden and also people had lost their lives. This genuine newspaper article that was dated in 1983 from the Washington Post, is this the biggest cover-up in history? They knew long ago the mysterious Planet Nine is Planet X. Please also look into this. You can Google these newspaper snippets and read through them because it's very important because it was taken away from the public for eyes that can see because again, that object is out there. Now here's a diagram of the Planet X system. Some of the planets you can see on the screen. Now looking at our skies, we do indeed see a purple haze, a pink haze, different other colours cutting through, strange reflections and dark shadows. What I'm going to do now though is, I'm now going to show you the skies of today that have been sent in by these fantastic members of our community. It is important to show them on these daily videos. Here we have our first attachment that's come through from Lucas from Newcastle in Australia. In the email he states as well that the skies behind this haze that you see on the screen is too dark, the blue sky. He is fully aware that what he's seeing isn't the sun, it is a reflector. 
in the skies behind those chem formations. He states of a strange smell up there as well, like a burning, melting smell. These people are just genuine. They're sending videos and images from right across our earth. Please, it is important to scan these images because the sky here is a dimmer color blue as this reflector is shining. Now back in the day, it would be brighter. Everything would be brighter than this. Randy Herbert, a true Planet X researcher, studies the skies all the time, just like all of us, is seeing this haze through the morning skies and the dimming of the sun. Look on the ground on this photograph. Stated in the email, it is reflecting a dark shadow. Let's move to another photo. This kind person jumps in a car and takes images showing those chem lines in the skies. This, these attachments came in at 21.32, one hour ago. Now, that's show you the next image as well. When pulling up near the workplace, taking the camera to the skies as well, it gets stronger with these chemtrails, this dark shadow, and still the sun isn't the same brightness as stated in the email from many years in the past. It's dimming. This photograph, just like all the images that come through, is showing big amounts of evidence that there is and has been a difference. On the next image as well, you can clearly see those chem lines. Looking closely at that chem line in the center of the screen, you've got this other chemtrail slipping through here below to try and cause this to become thicker. For the newcomers that are watching the channel, you can see those chemicals being slowly falling off this trail. This is what lands to our ground. Look at all the haze above. It's a cover-up. We have another attachment just come in as well from Mexico. Just one hour ago at 2050 from Barb Aranda, another kind member of our community. She's taken this image as well, showing you those strange lines here. Chemtrails. Look at the colour that we see of this reflector, this fluorescent light again. The sky is just ionised. It isn't the same sky that we saw from years ago. So again, thank you, Bob, for this fantastic photo, because we have the right for our photos to be shown. And it is important, again, just to get those sky images out, because when we look at the news media channel, the weather channels on our TVs, they are not showing the true skies. They are just showing a few pictures of themselves, and, and it is, again, a cover-up. They don't want these and this truth to come out. We have these attachments as well, come from James, from Little Rock, USA. Now, he took his camera and took an image of this uh, photograph. You can clearly see to the northeast, this pink haze. He was shocked when he saw this. It lasted again for about 20 minutes and then just moved across the sky to the horizon and down. There's something that's coming through. I mean, this haze is showing quite a lot now on different photos from different members of our community, from many different areas. So again, James, this is a fantastic image. This next attachment was taken two hours ago at 2043 from the Northeast skies. He just couldn't believe what he was seeing. He has never seen this color that was glowing to the northeast. He's been watching the channel, and when he started to see this light source, he was just shocked to take the image to send it in for us all to see. So again, thank you, James, for your kindest respect showing these photos. Now, what's happened is, James just sent this image in as well. What he states is, before seeing that pink, strange color in the skies northeast, he took this photo first of the sun down to the other side, just 
other just genuine photos of people that are starting to notice the colours and noticing the amount of chemtrailing that is still going on. They're throwing everything up there now to try and hide the truth. Here we have some attachments that's come in from Efi Fabrizo from Toronto. Now, I noticed something very strange on these uh, photographs, and I'd like to just show you this. Now, if you can see carefully, there is a reflection just here. Now, in the past, our sun wouldn't beam a light like this. Let me move to the other attachments as well as we talk through these photos. Because, again, he states in his email as well that his skies are just being hammered all the time. It's so blatantly obvious. He describes there is up to 30 military planes crossing the skies every single day and towards the sunset, which he's taken notice of, those chemicals are just drifting down towards the horizon. Look here on this next image as well and this is what we saw in the UK yesterday sundown there is a strange reflection that's here these again are chemicals chemtrails here again just zoomed in we've got the sol that's going down on the horizon and this strange reflection now what we're seeing is when we're seeing the area of this dimmed sun and it does look very strange, doesn't it? Because I fully know that when we do see the normal sun, we will get a black dot on the screen. And seeing this reflection as well, this haze, it reminds me of the dim sun that people are showing their photographs. There is too much of a pink haze on this uh, image as well. Now, this intrigued me, this image as well. I've never seen a strange cloud formation in my life like this. I mean, in the past skies, we were just seeing normal clouds, but look at the size of this strange formation, strange lines. Very thick, again, with chemicals, aluminium. I mean, look on the outer area as well, thousands of feet high, more chemtrails. It's been a huge cover-up. Everything will fall on the land. Just amazes me with these photographs that people do not look up. Also, I mean, this is zoomed in. I mean, everything on the screen that you see is unnatural. It's unnatural to everything. He states again, not many birds, no wildlife. Trees, again, are just... I mean, in Australia, I'm getting emails saying that the plant life is dying. Very, very unnatural for that to happen in our world. Everything on the screen, again... People still state, though, through emails saying that this is normal. But indeed it isn't, is it? It is genocide. Look at this chem line as well. This haze in the skies. I mean, planes. They must be seeing this. These pilots that drive these passenger planes are seeing this every single day. And I believe as well, hand on heart, that they get told to not say a word. I've tried to speak to airports to try and speak to anybody that's seeing this, but they don't say anything. They just pass the buck. They uh, they move the whilst I'm on the telephone. They switch to try and put me through to somebody else, and then I explain it. And then they put me through to somebody else, and it just goes on until the phone goes dead. I mean, they know what's going on. I mean, I'm getting subscribers as well that saying that they're on air flights, passenger holiday flights or business trips or having to travel by flight to go to work in different parts. And when this happens, this activity, those air hostesses, they pull the blind down. And, I mean, naturally, you would just leave it down, wouldn't you, when someone's doing that? But... What they're doing is they don't want you to see these lines in the skies. There's far too many colours and reflections beaming through. I mean, this is another photograph that was sent in by this kind person to show you this big change. These photographs, again, are genuine. So thank you for your respect 
and sending these in. We have these next attachments that's coming from Brad from Canada. And he also has started to look at the photos and taken a look for himself and seeing this big change. And indeed, it has got worse. I mean, look at these lines again and these other strange cloud formations, which are indeed chemicals. They cover up these open spaces. It's being controlled by towers. Can you see the dim of this area that people believe still that it's the sun and it's not. I mean, look at this pink reflection coming here. The skies are dark. Now, I mean, it is a giveaway, this photograph. All of them are just a big giveaway of what's going down. So, I mean, let me go to Brad's next image. Brad also took this next photograph. Now, this image just came in five minutes ago. I mean, it is so obvious again to say that there is a big change. I mean, where is the sun disappearing to? If that was our real sun, like we saw back in the past years, it should be a golden round sun, not this hidden, strange colour that's dimming behind a chem formation. I mean, this is all what we're getting now. It's still dimming the land. I've had over 375 emails saying the same thing from different parts of the world, saying the skies are still dark. And even in Australia, where it's hot, the temperatures have risen and it's dark through certain parts of the day. I mean, look at this strange orange reflection cutting through. Please take notice of these genuine images and remember the skies from the past. I mean, Canada is being hammered because this kind subscriber is saying early hours of the morning, he's up looking at those military planes spraying. This reflection is still cutting through and people are still seeing the halo. Thank you again for this attachment. This is the next photo that's coming from Canada by this same member of our community. To the left side, you're seeing chemtrails, strange formations, chem lines again, and the dimmed sun. It indeed, like on this photograph, looks like it's going through an eclipse. It's dimming, and it's a strange shape. Now, this kind person has cleverly took the window down. You can see here to the left. It's not a reflection. What you're seeing is not a marking on the windscreen or the car window, the back window. It is a clear photo shot showing you these changes. Here is a respected truther, Deborah. Now, Deborah works very hard speaking out about the government, the government plans, the agendas. Now, she's brought out a video, earthquake, EMP, 5G, attack plans. It's important to watch that footage because this truther speaks out and I fully respect this uh, this lady indeed. We've got attachments coming in from Cassie. Now, Cassie is built is based in the USA. She scans the skies. She's been doing it all her life, and again, she's been looking to the northeast and seeing this strange orange reflection cutting through. She's never seen these strange colours in the skies. Lowered cloud formations, chem lines, chemtrails, and she's just blown away by the colours that she's seeing. It's reflecting on everything and then disappears on the horizon. Never have we seen those colours before. Here on Cassie's next photograph, she's zoomed out just to give you a, much of an idea what she's seeing on the screen out there in the skies, northeast. This strange orange colour. Through the minutes she states again that this orange haze became much brighter reflecting on those strange formations, those chems. We've seen these formations on many photographs. Look at the sky in the background. It's a different colour. The sun is beaming through different colours from different heavily bodies like we saw on that description of the different bodies from this system. 
that's coming through. We have these next attachments coming through from Lacey from Florida. We have many fantastic people from Florida as well. Many in America, everywhere across the world, we're getting some amazing photos. Now, with these images, okay, I do believe, like I said before, that we will see something in the sky. We will see heavenly bodies. We have seen something by the sun and other objects, okay? Now, as we go through these archives, the truth is, and nobody can doubt this, that indeed there has been a big difference. Is this a coming pole shift? Because there's far too much evidence showing like on this photograph as well, it's just a haze. The sun is the wrong colour. Let me move to the next image. With this next photo, what you're seeing is two colours in the skies, like I showed on the other video. You're seeing the plasma, the yellow colour from the soul going down. But look to the right side, you've got that pink haze cutting through. These are strange cloud formations. I mean, look at this. It's coming through now. We're starting to see the reflections. This is another genuine fantastic photo coming in from Lacey. I mean, how much more evidence do we need? I mean, look at this reflector. Look at this white light. That's what I call it now. Now, when we see this, if it was the normal sun, I mean, look how dark the sky is. It is virtually black up here. We're seeing that orange-pink colour that's cutting through. Please keep an eye when you see the um, the harp clouds and other spreaded chems across our skies. It's so important to look at the dark areas, showing that our natural sun is completely dimming. Here on this next photograph as well, that was taken at 10.40, three hours ago. Look at the skies. Here we have again. This isn't our natural sun. We are seeing a dimming that's carrying on. Just absolutely marvellous photographs. I mean, people now in our community are really working hard. Moments later, this strange cloud formation came in front of this Reflector. I mean, look at this reflection here. I mean, how on earth would people think this is a normal cloud? Now, what we're seeing on the screen isn't the blue sky. My belief is that they're spraying different colours up there. I mean, look at it. It is not the same colour. It's All of it's been covered up. I mean, look at the edges on this so-called cloud. I mean, come on. They're really making a mess of our skies now. I mean, the military are causing everything to fall apart. It is breaking down, isn't it? I believe the sun simulator is breaking down. And this kind lady, Lacey, is absolutely astonished at what they're doing. She's very worried, seeing this dark sky and noticing that the colours have changed. So thank you for these attachments. These next images have come in from Simon Lord from Darwin in Noah. And he, again, is now looking up to the heavens to see these changes. So again, we're just waking more and more people up. Let me move to the next photograph. This, again, as he believed in the past that the sun was rising, he's absolutely astonished, took a closer look and studied the skies now, taking these photographs. Look down on the horizon. The sky, the blue sky, is still very dim. Behind all those strange cloud formations is a reflector. Going to the next image as well. To the other side, many chemtrails. And there must have been about 30 planes being sprayed. Over to the west, you can see again those lines in the skies crosses and chemtrails. Can you see, if this was a normal natural passenger plane, it wouldn't make a bend U-turn like this in the skies. What they're doing is trying to cross over these chemicals to make a thick haze. 
This is what they do. This is the start of the morning, and through the day you will get a haze, a complete cover-up. Now, looking at the other side of the sky south, you can see again twisted chemtrail, like here as well, and many lines. A development, again, that the shadow government are producing to cover the truth. Looking down here as well, to northeast, there's a strange colour, but you can just see those chems above the natural cloud formations. It's just, just to cover up the truth. We've got more fantastic photos coming in from Christopher Gleason from Tennessee. Look at the lines in the skies. He's absolutely shocked that nobody is paying attention. But for those that are awake to the truth, are seeing the truth. Now, I'm getting emails saying, if they are chemtrails. I'm getting a lot of this now, the word if. Please study the photos. Because, again, remember the normal cloud formations. I mean, there was no such thing in the past of a cloud that looked like that on the screen. Now, he looked towards the northeast and studied this strange chem formation. And indeed, it does look different, doesn't it? This is a new one. I mean, look how it fades off. Is this thousands of feet high? It looks like it's way out there. Look at the detail on it as well. And it seems to have a shadow, like it's cloaking. It's being cloaked, whatever it is. But it's starting to show itself. Here again, more lines in the skies. It's just useless, isn't it? Because again, they are hiding. And also, it's just harming. It's harming everything. And I do believe that those hammerheads are probably watching the channel and maybe pointing out and saying, well, I did them lines. But if you're listening, we do not consent. And please, somebody has to speak out. It's been going on for far too long. X marks the spots. I mean, it's so blatantly obvious, isn't it? Chem haze and these crosses in the skies. Now, I noticed on this photograph as well, if you look closely, there's a pink haze that's spread out in the blue skies. Here is that strange formation again that zoomed out. Now, what this kind subscriber is explaining as well, that it disappeared. It showed itself and then just disappeared in the blueness. What is it? We don't know. But again, is that just a chem formation or something else? Technology. It does look strange. If you catch anything like this, again, please do send it in. We have another photo that's come in from Vinton. Now, this kind member of our community is showing how dark it is. Around 1021, that was taken five hours ago. I mean, look at this blue sky that you can see that's dimming, like we saw on other photographs. Look at the ground. Again, look how black it is to the left side. The dimming of this sun that's behind out there in our inner solar system. And we're still seeing this reflector that's being controlled by technology. It's happening every day. Please, it's important to look at these chem formations, harp clouds. They are controlling the skies to keep the public dumbed down. It's as simple as that. Vincent also took this next photograph. I mean, to all of us, looking at this image, it's not the same sky. Our sky, our earth, around us, our surroundings have completely changed. People have changed. And it is still carrying on. Many people through emails are stating as well that they just want to go through crowded people shopping or what have you and just shout out, look up. It is important that I hope that in our future that people will start to look up. It's so obvious. We didn't see this reflection in the past years. We didn't see any of these chemtrails 
hammering across our skies in the 1980s. I mean, look at all this. Strange blue sky as well. I mean, thank you for these two attachments. OK, I've just got this last photo that's just come in two minutes ago from Vincent again. Now, as you saw them photographs that were just sent in by Vincent, he's from Phoenix in Arizona, so their skies are just looking like that right now. It is frustrating again for all of us to look up and see what's going on and still not being able to shout out and try and get this information out. It is, again, a big situation that's happening right up, up there, thousands of feet high, covering the truth. John Carlson took this photograph in just seven hours ago at 16.02. He states as well that it does look strange. He's seen the strange colours up there as well. And focusing on the blue sky does look darker so it is important as well to explain through emails what is happening because there's just thousands of people that are just speaking out and they're seeing this darkened sky we have two attachments that's come in from Carol from East London South Africa showing this purple haze and like I said at the beginning of the video, those heavenly bodies will reflect different colours through our skies. We could see the plasma of the sun going down on the horizon there. But we're seeing this purple haze, this purple colour reflecting through. Let me just show you the next photograph. There again, you've got that pink and purple colour reflecting through. So... Thank you, Carol, for these two attachments, and please keep safe. We've got an image coming through from Michelle Rosetta. Now, indeed again, Australia is being hammered. Many other parts of the world are being hammered. This image, again, still the public will look at this and think it's just normal. But when you look in detail at the photograph, you're seeing strange lines. It's very abnormal. It's not right to see these lines. Chem haze, pink colours. Here as well, this is supposed to be our blue sky, but again, it's just a cover up. Everything, like here in the UK, just yesterday evening, the sky was just like this. So thank you for this attachment and God bless you too. Deborah Hayes from the USA took these attachments as well, showing you chemtrails and this strange colour of the sun. Now we do see a reflection on the windscreen here, but these are not reflections off the windscreen. These are chemtrails. Dark skies and this colour, again, this strange colour of the dim sun area. Now look at the reflection on this chemtrail here. It brightens up. It gets brighter. As I said, the mixture of chemicals will cause this. I mean, looking through the different photographs again, I mean, you can just see the big change, can't you? Look at the trees. Can you see how dim and dark they are? We're seeing the reflector, but then it's beaming artificial light down to the ground, which is harming everything and dimming the skies. Just genuine photographs of these kind people in our community showing what's going on. Can you see to the left-hand side? It's too dark. They're covering up this dimness in the skies. This is just a, a mark on the screen. This is a lens flare. Here is a lens flare. But these are chemtrails. The dimming of the area that we see of the sun, the reflector, and this dark shadow. Look at these lines again being produced. They are spraying hard everywhere. Deborah's next image as well is just totally amazing. I mean, even here, you've got this circulation of a chemtrail. It's circling just here in this reflection. It's white. It's not golden. It's, it used to be golden. It used to be just a natural sun. And it was making us better. It was making us happy. We were getting the right vitamin D from the sun. 
and everything else was getting the right health. It was healthy back then in the day, but now we're seeing this, and it's making people more stressed and feeling unwell. I mean, there's still reports of people that are getting chem flu and becoming very unwell. So again, thank you, Deborah, for these images, these photographs that you've taken the time to show us in our community. Thank you. Erica Brook from New Jersey sent this attachment in just nine hours ago at 2.27. Can you see that pink outer area of this reflection again? Dark skies, chemtrails and harp formations. I'm afraid that they're doing it everywhere. They are causing this. Now, to do this, okay, on this level of what we're seeing of this activity, this build-up, it's showing that something is going to happen. It really is. So, again, thank you for these attachments, Erica, and God bless you too. Kevin from Colorado sent this photo in just recently. Sent it in at 2.27 and he's just absolutely amazed to see the strange greyness of the skies. These reflections on these strange clouds he's used to see in the past, the normal cloud formations, a blue sky and healthy colours. I mean, look at the area that we are believed to see the sun. He's taken images in 2014 of the sun and caught the black dots that was in the center of the screen off the camera but he's able to see it with his own eyes now so again in the lower populated areas of some smaller towns they are seeing the truth Kevin took this next attachment early hours in the morning in Colorado close to where he lives he was absolutely shocked to the northeast skies there was a strange reflection beaming through like on other photos, I've seen this. Look out, look at the strange colour. There's something else rising. It is not our sun. Many chems, again, just plastering the skies through the night. Here is a strange chem formation, a black chem, but you can clearly see a shadow above it. Everything on the screen is a cover-up. Also, Kevin went to the shopping areas and took a, look, a big look to the skies and noticed, again, this strange orange colour reflecting. He could see the simulator, the white simulator, this strange white colour. But to the other side, you're seeing the orange colour that's reflecting through, beaming through. It can't be hidden. We saw in the other photographs, you will see this red haze around the reflector that will beam through on those cloud formations. Something is being hidden. And in time, in the future, they will make mistakes. We will see it again. We will see that orange sun in the skies. Here is Kevin's next image as well. I mean, it's so amazing to see these because the cloud systems have changed. They've been altered. Again, is this a coming of a pole shift that's causing these systems, chems and, I mean, chemicals with reacting to cloud formations? I mean, the whole scenario has changed. We have John from San Diego looking up to the heavens as well. And he states again in his email that this isn't stopping. It's happening all the time. He hasn't seen a natural cloud for months and it, all he's seeing now is chemtrails look at this chemtrail again that's hiding it's cutting through to make everything thicker in the skies i do hope that news media and the powers that be and the newspapers are going to take a good look at this photograph as well because indeed i believe that they know that there is something strange going on look at these again chems Everything on the screen is unnatural. But they still seem to think that people have got so used to this, they've forgotten about the skies from the past. 
I mean, look at this. I mean, it's getting, it's getting out of hand now, isn't it? I mean, look at the shape of this, this red color cutting through. Dimming of the land. Deborah Hayes again sent these next images showing chem lines, dark shadows, the dimming of the sun. She states in her email as well that one day that she went out to a car and noticed a load of powdery sort of dust on all the vehicles. And when driving, she had a violent cough and it didn't go away for months. Sore throat, stingy eyes and just feeling very depressed. Now, everything in our skies like you see on this photo is going to fall on everything. Let's go to uh, Deborah's next attachment. Here it is and again, I mean, I'm just showing you, I mean, look at these chem lines, dark shadows chemicals and the strangeness of the different blue skies that we see so deborah please keep safe and thank you for these attachments to show our community of what's going down okay we've got a video that's coming in from april now she stated in an email that there was a strange pink reflection that was cutting through those cloud formations the plasma as well that's showing on the horizon Many people have said that they are seeing this red colour flecking through the cloud formations. Let's just um, play this video from April. Okay, there's East. Northeast. There's the north. And of course, I can't see the sunrise. I guess that must be it over there. Uh, huh. See, they're there over in the northeast. Uh, hard to tell. Hard to tell. All right, thanks, folks. Thank you, April, for sending this footage in because many people from different other parts of the world will not see the system as the Earth is rotating on its orbit. Other parts of the world are going to see it clearly as now Australia are picking up a lot of activity of chemin and the halo and these red and pink reflections. So we're still seeing, though, this pink reflection cutting through the cloud formations, the plasma as well on the horizons. But indeed, I believe that it's right for many genuine people to have their footage showing on the screen. And I've got many more videos to produce and show on later videos. We have an attachment coming from Angela from Utah, stating in the email, this is what they're doing to the area that she sees of the moon and indeed it's reflecting very strong on the screen if you look closely you can see those chems blatantly spraying right across this area of the moon why spray the moon we've got to research this and look into detail because again they are cloaking our known objects in the skies we've got other attachments coming in from jay newman from australia and indeed, it's great to see these photographs coming from different parts of the world. He states in the email, the skies seem to be dimming, and to the other side he's taken these photographs, seeing this orange colour, this orange haze on these cloud formations. Now, what is going on? We see the reflector, and then we turn the camera around, 
and now we're picking up this colour. Is this from our sun, our normal sun, that is darkening? These images are genuine, they're not being filtered. We're seeing these strange chem formations. Look at this orange haze. But what shows you to, that it's a true photo is you can see the reflections on the sea. Very, very strange indeed. Through taking the images, this orange colour was becoming stronger in the skies. It is, as you can see on the photograph, it's not being filtered, as you can see on the land. The blue sky and this strange colour that's reflecting on these cloud formations. Now, years ago, if we were to see these photographs that were taken in 1982, you would just see a cloud formation and a white reflection as the sun was going down. OK, we've got two last images on this video from Luke from Townsville, Queensland in Australia, showing you the halo. He states in an email that the temperatures are very high and they are seeing this 100%. Can you see again chem lines below? Just amazes me how scientists come out with different excuses about this halo. But we do know that this is part of the cover-up produced again by chemicals. Let me move to the next image. This is the last photograph of this archive. Now Luke, moments later, took this photograph again of this halo that was darkening. Can you see the inner area and this haze in front of it? Is it this a reflection coming through from the system? Because many people in the past have spoke about this. So again, Luke, thank you for these attachments. And all of you, thank you very much for sending these photographs in as we continue the research to finding those heavenly bodies. We've got to think out the box, think and be open-minded about this. Because there's thousands of people seeing these different colours in the skies now. We did not see them in the past. So, like I say, don't let those in power think for us. Please now, that start thinking for ourselves. God bless. Take care.